Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new painting tip. This time I will explain how I paint the flames. And for that tutorial I will paint the flames on that miniature that is handling on the right hand. So this is a miniature that I have converted a little bit to be used as one of my seekers in my seeker chorus on Renegade Guardians. And I did these flames on the right arm using green stuff. So let's just start. As you see here, I start with black priming. And normally, when I'm doing flames, I do the other way around as I do in other parts. So I start with the very light colors, and then I will start highlighting on the opposite way, adding darker and darker colors. So here I start with dawn yellow. It's a very light yellow and it's covering very well black. The so next step, I will start highlighting with golden yellow. So this means that I will paint golden yellow on the flames, leaving the deeper parts with dawn yellow, the original one. Picture you can appreciate better what I'm meaning. So as you see, the most external parts of the flames are on darker yellow than the internal parts. And here another picture to show what I mean. So look that the deeper crevices are very light. Next, I will add Fire Dragon Bright. So I will add a very light orange on top of the darker yellow. As before, I start layering on top. So I will leave the lighter colors in the most internal part of the crevices. And then I will use a darker orange. This time I use blazing orange from the all lineup of Games Workshop. So here you have another picture. So if you have followed this video you will see that at this moment I apply four colors starting from very light yellow to dark orange. Here you have another picture important to say that it's up to you how darker or lighter you want the fire. Here another close-up after applying the darker orange. And then I also applied a little bit of blood red but just on the most higher or on the most external parts of the flames. So just a small touch of blood red. Here you have another picture. And I finalized doing a very small touch of very dark red on the most external parts of the flames. So just a very small touch. Here you can see that I just did a bit darker parts on the most external um, extreme and bigger flames. As I told before, it's up to you how darker or lighter you want this fire to be. And once you're happy with your fire, I do the glooming effect. And here I start first doing a very, uh, uh, doing a hard dry brush around the area where the flames are supposed to lighting. So this means that in that miniature I will do this dry brush on the right side of the face, on the right side of the hair, and also on the right arm. And then once the dry brush is, is showing me what are the areas that should be lighter, I also highlight with the same color. Here you have another image. I think it's giving a very nice touch, the glooming effect from the flames. And as my fire is quite yellowish, I decide to do a second highlight on the glooming effect with golden yellow. This time I've been very selective and only highlight the most external parts of, of the wrinkles and the hair. 
Here you have another picture after doing the glooming effect. And that's all. So this is, is all what I want to explain about how to paint flames or fire. Of course you can do this in uh, in that case I did in, in oranges, but you also can use other colors if it's a magic fire. For example, you can do in bluish or you can do in greenish. I did that for Skavens. So that's all what I want to share in that video. I think I've been useful for you. So the base technique is going from light in the inside to darker outside. That's all you have to follow when you're doing flames. So thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.